WMUR News 9 starts now. Good evening, I'm Mike Cronin with this WMUR News 9 update. And we begin with breaking news tonight out of Orford, where the Attorney General's office is investigating a suspicious death. Authorities are also investigating a second location in Newport. Both locations are secure by police and there is no threat or danger to the public. This is a developing story and we will continue to update you with any information as we get it. Three vehicles that were stolen from a Manchester car dealership have been located and returned, but two of them have significant damage. As you can see here, one actually had bullet holes in the passenger side door. The other vehicle had front end and windshield damage. The cars were stolen from Bonneville and Son on Hooksett Road in Manchester earlier this month. The dealership's owner says the damage is expected to be several thousand dollars. The financial hit's going to be pretty substantial because, first of all, I would never repair these cars and resell them. That's just, that's not doing my customers any justice. So more than likely, I'm gonna end up having to sell them as they are damaged, take the insurance money to try and offset some of the losses, which could be close to six figures. So far, no arrests have been made. Anyone with information is asked to call Manchester Police. Now here's meteorologist Kevin Skarupa with the forecast. We are looking at a gradual increase in clouds as we go through the evening. Mike, it is one of those beautiful days out there for late fall where we had the sunshine, the light winds and temperatures up into the 40s. Tomorrow, even a couple of notches warmer, but as you will notice back to the west, there is a thicker cloud cover headed in our direction. We're not going to be able to rule out a stray sprinkle during the daylight hours tomorrow, but I suspect after a not as chilly evening tonight with lows from the mid-20s to mid-30s, tomorrow should be a really nice day to be outdoors yet again. We're talking temperatures in the 40s to a few lower 50s. There could even be a few sunny breaks during the afternoon. From there, our best chance of showers in our seven-day forecast will be later Sunday night and into Monday, likely a wet start to our morning commute Monday, but then that pulls away. Chilliest day uh, that we've had in quite a while, expected to be during the daylight hours Tuesday. With a brisk wind, we're probably not out of the 30s. From there, sunshine for the busy travel day on Wednesday and sunshine expected also on Thanksgiving. All right, Kevin, thank you. We'll be back at 10 on MeTV New Hampshire and after the game right here on WMUR. Good night.